right now, right yeah, now, right I'm, now. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty passionate about the anti-austerity motion and studying this further. I don't know. And within the Concordia University right now, we're having a lot of problems with the administration. In regards to that, they had made promises to the students that they would be allowed to protest freely, and then now they've been brought up on charges. The the law that you for protest, yeah, that would change, definitely change that one because a lot of people are getting criminalized, and you, they can't even protest anymore. Lots of people are getting arrested and having like crazy fun. So like you you can't people can't really express themselves anymore uh, it seems inconsistent and unfair and unfortunately because they purposely didn't have minutes for a lot of these meetings there's no one to hold them accountable and I think it's really unfortunate looking to the future that we're not going to be able to have an open dialogue with them in the same way that they did abuse the trust of that situation um, and I think that's a situation that's happening with a lot of students right now I'm cool with Quebec it's all right. Taxes are high. I know for sure. So I was just. I think taxes are extremely high, and the fact that they're in debt right now is pretty crazy. The fact that they're cutting education right. is kind of like a weak way to deal with it. So I'm not too stoked about that. Like I don't know. You're you're essentially building a new generation that doesn't trust any authority. Is kind of scared of the cops, rightfully so. Why do you think we got military police? because the big boys are afraid. They see what's coming. They arm the RCMP like military. All the local cops got all kinds of killing devices. They have no respect for the people. And what are you, how is that gonna pan out really in the next couple of years? Like either we're gonna have to change something or we're gonna be very bitter and not be able to get very much done. And it's obvious when you try to uh, exercise your, your democratic rights, by organizing in the street and demonstrating, you get beat. You get whacked on the fucking head and you get thrown in jail. Change, the camel please. pants. Eh? They're, they're camel pants. Okay, besides pants. the fashion, would you, do you have a problem? Do you have any no, issues? No, it's not with? their fashion. It, that, that is not the point. It's not because I don't like camo. I love camo. I don't think that an officer who's upholding the law should come and tell me what I should be doing while he is completely disrespecting the system. Like, I don't know, I'm really concerned overall about where Quebec is heading, where Montreal is heading. Is there hope? I think... Are you a hopeful person, or...? I, th I think there's always hope. I think until, like, you really can't do anything anymore, you still have hope. If you're a uniformed officer, you want to demand respect from people, act like it, lead with it, by an example. Right, it, it's slim. It's a slim hope, most of the time. You're fighting like it's an uphill battle, but as long as you can still get up and still do stuff, then yeah, you still have hope.